What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom transition in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, or 13. Just before we get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, Ruby Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So here's an example of the transition we'll be creating. Now to do this, it is completely from scratch. There is no transition preset and we're only going to be using the event pan and crop to do this. Okay, so as you can see, I've split the video down. Here is me showing the team, and here is me actually in the gameplay. What we're going to do is create a transition of going from this video to this video here. So, let's get into this. We're using the event pan and crop for this. And the first thing we need to do is find out where we're going to start the transition. So, I recommend leave about a 6-7 second gap. So, you can see it's on 31 here. Minus 7 from that, which is 24. So there we go, we'll go there, press S on your keyboard to split, and this is where the transition will take place. So press this right here where it says event, pan and crop. This is what you'll get right here. Now we're going to be working on this very, very simply, and let's get into it. Make sure this is checked right here, size about center. Make sure lock aspect ratio is also checked, and also make sure enable snapping is checked. Now to do the transition, we only need three seconds, so as you can see, this is a six second clip. So I'm going to look for three seconds by using this right here. And there is three right there. And all we're going to do is press add keyframe like that. Now we're going to go two seconds ahead, which is going to take us to five seconds. And now this is where you have to pay attention. Zoom out with your mouse wheel and grab this right here. Come out once, twice, three, four and five. And that to me looks good. Now after that, we're going to come straight to the end. Go back one keyframe so you can see it right here. And this is where we make it fly out. So we're going to make it slide to the right. You're going to go left with this right here. Just hold it, hold it, it's gone. So that is actually complete. So if we go ahead and play this, it's from this one right here. Remember the split. So we're just showing the team, showing the team. Boom, this is where it kicks in from... 27 I think 28 there we go and boom just like that and then we go into the gameplay so that is how I guess we exit a video now how do we introduce a video with the exact same effect well it's very simple this time it involves no splitting come to the event pan and crop on the next video now remember this video ended sliding to the right that means we're gonna make it sliding from the left with this size right here so it's very simple to do. Come to the event pan and crop here. Zoom out a bit. And I believe it is on five. So one, two, three, four, five. There we go. And now we need to take it off the screen in that direction. So we're going to put this to the right. Like that. All the way off like that. And now we're going to come across one second. So you can look at the bottom right here and use this to your advantage. And now we bring it back. So use the arrows on your keyboard to bring it back until it's center again. Which is there, I believe. There we go. And now the next thing, we need to go two seconds ahead this time. So now we're on three seconds like we should be. Because remember, we went from one second to three seconds. And we'll go a bit more frames. There we go. And now all you're going to do is right click, click restore. Boom. It is set up. So if we play this. So remember, we're just showing the team on this part. And of course, there is no sound because I'm not recording the sound. I didn't think it mattered, but here we go. Slide off and then slides back in, brings back full screen. And that is how you make a very nice transition in Sony Vegas. Now, in the example I showed you, I had a swoosh sound effect. Now, how do you add this in? It's very simple. A download link to it will be in the description. And remember, it comes in as it slides away. So let's look for that part. Remember, use the arrows on your keyboard, and I believe there is good enough. So I'm going to come here and add the swoosh underneath, and then I'm going to line it up. 
So then if we play this, again we just need to time it up a bit better. So about there will probably be better. There we go. That looks nice and clean now. So again for this part it slides back in. You'll see these two are actually quite close here but they won't clash or anything. So again a few frames. Make sure it's on screen first about there. Then line it up and now we'll see what this looks like. There we go, and that looks much more better, and that is how you do it in Sony Vegas. You can make your own transitions with the event pan and crop. Now yes, this is time consuming where you can just go to transitions and drag one on. However, if you wanted to know how to make a custom transition, that is how you do it. You can do it with the event pan and crop, and you can also use track motion as well if you would like to. Like I said at the start of the video, if you would like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or in Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter I'll keep you updated when I'm posting and what I'll be posting. Also be sure to go and check out my Snapchat I'll keep you updated what I'm doing throughout my day. Be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel I'll post 4 times a week. And finally be sure to go ahead and check out my tech news channel where I'll keep you updated on the best tech news. That is it for this video, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate and peace.